is. It's, it's alright. It sounds weird. No wonder why these keep getting demonetized. It's like our Ghostbusters series, man. It's like... It keeps get Every time we upload a video, it keeps getting... Coming yeah, back, can... not advertiser-friendly. Mm -hmm. But then again, I mean... I don't even trust the system anymore because, like, I tried to show you... Uh, Fun, fun story. So when I was putting up like my holiday update and my podcast update on my channel, um, I forgot to demonetize them. And I don't usually do updates with with ads because, you know, it, it's business for the channel. I don't see a reason to charge you guys for it or make you go sit through ads when I'm just trying to update you on what's going to happen for Christmas. I forgot to do that this time and both got put as not ad advertiser friendly. <laughs> Some, can somebody please explain this to me? I don't know. Did you swear in the video? I didn't! <laughs> I didn't swear in the video! It's the weirdest thing ever, but yeah, I- You did I, mention death, my at update, least. What? You did mention death, right? Because you mentioned recent events with us. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I may have said, like, a death in the family. Yeah, there you go. That's probably it. Really?! Yeah. That's Is what it? did it, because I actually looked for the reason for it, because they always give you, like, I don't know if you've actually look into, looked into it, but you can uh, correct it and they'll t tell you how to correct it. And it actually said that I used harsh language or, or language that wasn't appropriate. You think death was it? Probably. That was so Oh my gosh. YouTube, get over yourself. <laughs> and yeah, that, now that actually explains why this thing keeps getting uh, demonetized is that, yeah, it's Ghostbusters, ergo, it's dealing with death all the time. And here, I thought it was just because I was making fun of the 2016 Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, that probably did it, too. There we go. Well, you know, it's a, it's illegal in China to have any media involving ghosts. So we got banned by China? Probably. Yeah. Uh, not well, just China. I think Korea has the same kind of uh, uh, theology on it, too. Uh, I don't think they're quite as strict, though. Like, like China would be, unless you're talking North Korea. Then yes, they would be. Well, but. no, because um, World of Warcraft, when they go to when they have a South Korean client, they actually can't show bones on the undead characters. Oh, so they had they had to cover them with skin, hey, which is the same thing they had to do place. for for China. Barely move my arms. Can you find me? Okay, so we closer. we found the Ghostbusters. Sounds are getting louder. You know, I always did like you more than the others did. Am I getting my stock options? No, no, no. Seriously, Rookie, you could have my stock options. You can even have my lunch Twinkie. Because this is the 80s and Twinkies still exist. Keep looking, man. I've got to be around somewhere in here. Well, actually, it's 1990. Uh, why yeah, are you... Why point. are you... Try, why do we have to come find you? Hey. Because that's why. Oh, thanks, man. I was seriously cramping up in there. This is all looking a little familiar. Yeah. They would be giggling right now. This must be where all the mood slime came from. Look, they must have pumped it straight into the sewers from here. So there's your connection to Ghostbusters 2. This is the origin of the mood slime that was in the sewers. And now you know how it got there because we just barely showed the, uh, the sewer connection. So there you go. There. Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2 are officially connected. Well, of course they're connected. They're connected by Evo Shandor. So Evo Shandor wanted us to uh, eventually release Vigo. Maybe hey. Vigo was part of his artist art gallery. I don't know. <laughs> it's Vigo. He's Vigo. You're like fuzzy the flies, twin. Shandor's cult was working some crazy experiments in here. There's blue slime, pink slime, yellow slime, Every ghost in here is coated with black slime. What's generating it all? Where's it all coming from? I don't know, Winston. And I don't think we're near close enough to figure out why there are very various slime variants. Now we got the pink slime. Oh, but hey, look, there's a portal. Slime it! Slime them! Here they come! Look out! Above you! Seriously, who wrote who who read in the uh, in entry handbook that yes, you will be able to serve us even in death and said, oh, you know what? I actually like that. I, I like the insurance options that are coming from it. 
And uh, I would love to be able to come back from the grave, have hook hands, and be able to kill anybody who tries to thwart us. And every time I say thwart now, I just think of uh, the cheetah from DBZ, Aver DBZ Abridged. Well, apparently there was one of the pitches for Ghostbusters 3 was the Ghostbusters were all in hell. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember who's Did you close the portal? Was. What? Did you close the- Oh, good. No, you don't have to worry about closing the portal in this one. You just have to take care of the followers. Um, yeah, I can't remember whose script it was. It was either um, a draft from Harold Remus or it was a draft from Dan. But yeah, they were supposed to go to hell. They were supposed to fight the devil. Yeah. Pretty sure it was Dan. And in fact, I think a later draft, actually, they, they wanted to paint Gozer as the devil. So that's why, in a lot of cases, I love the fact that Ramus and, and Ackroyd ran, wrote this. They took ideas that they already had for Ghostbusters 3 and just brought them all together. Uh, okay, there's our anchor. They are the Nazgul. Bring grace. Neither the living nor dead. Except in this case, they are actually very dead. Okay. Where's our ghost? Where's our ghost? There Enjoy is. Enjoy some positivity, mother effer. You can succeed at your job. You can get that management position you've been wanting. <laughs> you can upgrade and find your career. Showed well on your I think you're really turning some head back at headquarters. Man, what are these spooks up to? Winston, I think you've been slimed too much. You're talking way too positively to me. But what's up with all the sleepy signs? Ah, this island's got to be sitting directly on a cross-dimensional portal. Ah, crap, Winston, you're starting to talk like them. Yes, that sounds like my equipment. You're getting close. How can you hear my equipment? Oh, this is already good. I don't want to be eaten by black slime. Egon. Hang on, oh. we're almost to you. Thank you. This is going to reflect well on your performance review. In most How did cases, you guys get in there? Proximity to mildew stimulating. That was a little much, though. Have you seen Venk? Well, you know. Do I get dental benefits? Well, I think I need dental benefits. Meter seems to we don't have a dental plan. Direction. Lisa needs braces! Dental plan! I'm sorry, that's the first thing that always comes to my mind when, when we start talking about dental. That's true. <laughs> Lisa needs braces! Dental plan! Lisa needs braces! I want to close the portals. Uh, yeah. So, um, Look out, there we go. Quick, scan for the oh, no. Hey, look, the ghosts even have ragdoll physics. Find some cover! Enjoy your positivity, mother effers! They said that already. Yes. And you don't even say it right. And just because of the wrestling reference, enjoy your bootios! Unicorns are the best thing ever! Unicorns are the best. Unicorns. Oh, oh, hi. Well. Unicorns, Phoenix, Griffins, the whole fantasy gallery. Keep working. See, I was actually just referencing the new day. So sometimes those blobs kind of remind me from uh, Epic Mickey. Yeah. That were a pain to fight. Well, this was around the time when that was also coming out. So oh yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if there was at least some kind of inspiration from uh, Ward. Oh, uh, what was his name? Warren Spector, I think, came up with Epic Mickey. Probably. All right. This machinery indicates an astounding level of sophistication. Pure evil notwithstanding, Evo Shandor was far ahead of his time. You know, I have to take my hat off to Shandor. This lab was built for how many years ago? It's truly impressive. It's likely Shandor was the parapsychology expert of his time. Stay in the light, Egon. I'm trying, Winston. Should we try to find Peter, or...? They probably stashed him around here somewhere. Should we be worried that one of our most dedicated scientists is praising the bad guy right now? <laughs> help! Yo, little help! That's why I had to say, stay in the light. Right, right, right. 
You were probably right near him. Yeah, I'm just looking around. Did somebody call a break? Yep, that pink one, all right. Now, we are sure about this, right? We need to be a full uh, speed. Ah, no. What about one of those? I feel a momentum swing here in our favor. Get out there Over and find him on Dalanode and shut it down. That should really piss someone off. Yes, I know. I gotta find Peter, but... I thought he was in one of those pods. Well, that's why I looped around. To yeah. see their front, to see if it was lit up. And it wasn't. Oh, okay, never mind. Because they're on the elevator now. Oh, do I need to free him on my own? Maybe. What if I don't want to free Bankman? <laughs> turn you on. You guys don't even give me that option. Maybe you can turn on their PKU. You need to... I don't think it's actually going to work because it's not going to detect him. It's going to detect ghost stuff. Yeah. Not even a blip. Maybe upstairs? Well, can't go upstairs. My bad. Well, maybe just go to one of them. Maybe they'll just automatically open. Way to one. Nope. No. Doesn't work. Go in here? No. He's got to be in here. Peter. Ollie, Ollie, Oxen, Bankman. Sounds like Java the Hut. Solo. Kawauki. Okay, can't go that way. Not in here. All right, Peter, start screaming. Bankman, start screaming. Well, we started hearing him around this area, so I'm guessing that's <laughs> where we need to be. Can you talk to them? Oh, there that's we what we had to do. Hey, my apologies. We places to go, people to meet. Can we move out of here? Great job, kid. Glad to hear Peter's okay. Okay, so where did he show up to? I guess he was—he was gonna power the elevator for us. Mm. Oh, and look at that! I'm having Tomb Raider flashbacks. What are they doing? The readings are as big as those at the library when we crossed over. I think it's safe to assume that the machine they're working on was not built for a benign purpose. It's an orrery, a device typically used for predicting planetary alignment. In this case, it appears to actually be aligning dimensions. I, for one, do not want the dimensions to align. Not this close to Christmas. That would put a damper on the holidays. Yeah. How do we shut that thing down? The motion of those devices seems to be generating some sort of energy. Hard to tell, though. What if we tried locking those things now? I can calculate 54 likely outcomes. We'd survive three of them. That beats our usual odds. Unfortunately, you're correct. Let's do it. Only three? Hey, why not? It looks like the movement of those spheres is stabilizing the interior structure. There we go. That's all you have to do is, is uh, take care of so these far, devices. Ruby Island has been a slime tether amusement park. I remember being in here the first time I played, and I, I like sat there for 30 minutes just looking at the thing, not even trying to figure the thing out, Lock just looking at down, it. Man. We were just looking at it because you were. In yeah, because that's really good item design right there. That's amazing to me. Stop those balls from moving. I mean, uh, you know what I mean. Did, did you just tell me to get my balls moving, Winston? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk to you about my balls. I really don't want to talk to you about my balls. I think we can have a dozen other conversations that are going to be way more productive than talking about my balls. You missed. There you go. Okay. Four. Boom. You? Not talking about my balls. Not anymore. Here's our third. And yeah, I can probably this work. No crashing. Ah, never mind. That didn't work. Hey, uh, no. Can you get closer to the edge? No. I can, but 
problem is, is that you gotta aim at proper. Basically, we, we have to aim one tether at the floor and then one on this one. So, what if you scoop back so you can see the bottom? There, there we go. go. Yes, you did. How come people smart enough to use science always try to take over the universe? Huh? Ega, Ray, anyone? Didn't think so. Wait. I don't know, Ray and Egon are, are pretty smart. I'm not so sure this is the safest course of action. Of course it wasn't. I think we found the source of the black slime, Winston. I wasn't that curious! The whole room's filling up! Get to higher ground! Oh, crap! All right, gentlemen, it's official. This was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thanks, Egon. I took your advice, and now I'm regretting that I did. We can't go up any further than this, people. This isn't good. See what's here. He's saying see what's here, so look around. I'm starting to feel a negative vibe, guys. I'm starting to feel like can't you succeed in life. PKE meter. Uh, let's see. Well, they're just standing around. There we go. Everything happens for a reason, my friend. Here comes the big fan. Ugh, the stint is horrible. It smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that dumpster. Putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mr. Sunshine, is it? Well, this is the part hi. where we do what we do. Hello. Positivity! So you need to defeat the juvenile slore. So that term might sound a little familiar to you, Alex. Does it? Hmm. No. You have to look back to the Rick Moranis dialogue in the original movie. Oh, he said slore. Yeah, so he was talking about a, ver a voracious slore that ha that uh, Vince Glortho had to take on. Now you get to see a slore. I said tour. And they're they're ugly. Got to be vulnerable somewhere. It is. Yeah, it's one of the. Maybe it's that glowing green thing up top. Maybe you have to hit that with the slime, the green. There we that go. That head? That is its head, is it? I'm not sure that matters. How can we get to it? Hey, Ow! Run around and look delicious, will ya? Lure the juvenile. I don't want to lure... I don't want to lure the juvenile slore. Shouldn't be luring juveniles anyway. Oh, wonderful. Now he just slathers you with black slime. I don't want him to take the bait! Oh, and take care of the eyes. The eyes, they see everything. And now we can just kill him. Okay. I'm gonna lure him to you guys for making me the bait. Stop it! Stop it! Find some cover! There we go! Keep it coming! Oh, screw you, buddy! Oh, there's another eye! Oh no, Winston! Medic! Ow! Do I need a medic now? There we go. Okay, kill off the eyes. And now I'll kill you off. Haha, <laughs> we defeated the vicious juvenile slore. All the nodes are closed. The ghosts are trapped in Manala. Right where they belong. Our boy Evo Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbuster. Ha ha ha! In fact, it's a mistake. We're going to have a long I don't think it matters because now the slime is beginning to boil. Very long. Keep the motor running. We are coming at you fast. And there you go. Through teleportation. Get out of there. Get out of here. 
yeah, through teleportation we ended up here. Just don't question it. How was it? Was it cool? What did it look like? Did you get any samples? Did it have multiple eyes? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually one of my favorites from this game. Shut up, Ray. Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. <laughs> Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke, and unless this was out of my favorite tea, you know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Fast hey, forward. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things <laughs> went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind. And before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, No! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So I thought there was a mass escape from Rikers. Or someone shut down our containment grid again. Mm. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. <laughs> <laughs> but where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question <laughs> is, where are the ghost workers? <laughs> what? Kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? We could round up some ghosts, save the girl, get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. <laughs> Just realized the, what, the painting of Vigo shouldn't be here because it got changed at the end of the movie. It did actually get changed in the movie. I think it's more just because Easter egg. Yeah. Uh, than anything else. But oh, hi. so this pretty much sets things up for the last level of the game. So we now know the connection between Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2. We now know the origin of the mood slime. We have all of that. And the mandala seems to be been defeated. But now we have another problem. The ghosts have escaped again. Peck. Because the only person that's ever shut down our containment grid is Peck. So, well, I think this is actually a really great time to go ahead and take a break because we're almost out of time anyway. Mm -hmm. So when we get back, we will confront the evil Pecker and finally get the ghosts all back in the containment unit. Well, that's not good. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it looks like we're going to Central Park where... Uh, we basically could run into every ghost we've ever come across that we've jailed and now is is free. All because Walter Peck decided to be such a pecker. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Are we ready? Here we go. Just once, I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Any guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> uh, we meant to do that. I suspect that we're going to need the Super Slammer up there. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto-1. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Nah. <laughs> Thanks, Winston. They have Any such ideas? love for us. Ah, Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow! That was. That was ow there. Make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us. 
Okay, so we are basically walking into a ghost infested Central Park. Because this sounds like such a great idea, right? That's our job.